वेलकम टू द सब्जेक्ट सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग वेर इन चैप्टर नंबर ट्वेल्व एंड टूडेज टॉपिक इज यूजर इंटरफेस एनालिसिस एंड डिजाइन स्टूडेंट्स वेर इन चैप्टर परफॉर्मिंग यूजर इंटरफेस इन दिस यूजर इंटरफेस एनालिसिस एंड डिजाइन इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक पॉइंट नंबर वन द ओवरऑल प्रोसेस ऑफ एनालाइजिंग एंड डिजाइनिंग a user interface begins with the creation of different modules of system function the human point number 2 the human and computer oriented task that are required to achieve system functions are then limited so students the task which should be carried out by human and computers are separated point number 3 design issues that apply to all interface designs are considered so all the design issues related to every type of interface is considered tools are used to prototype and ultimately implement the design models so tools play important role in developing a prototype and thus help in implementing the design model first sub topic interface analysis and design model four different models come into play when a user interface is to be analyzed and designed first user model it okay a profile it is a profile of all end users of the system second design model it is a design realization of users model third mental model it is also called as system perception it is users mental image of what the interface is fourth implementation model it is interface of the look and feel coupled with all supporting information that describes the system syntax so these are four interface analysis and design model we will study them in detail first a user model it is point number 1 it establishes profile of end user of the system point number 2 to build an effective user interface all design all design should begin with an understanding of intended users including profiles of their age gender physical abilities education culture or ethnic background motivation goals and personality students in user model what the user thinks regarding an interface is considered so you should consider profile of user in detail his education okay his abilities culture and everything point number 3 the users may be novice knowledgeable and intermittent users third category is knowledgeable and frequent users so users belong to different categories or types second design model on number 1 the design model of the entire system incorporates data comma architectural interface and procedural representation of the software on number 2 the requirement specification may establish certain constraints that help define the user of system but interface design is often incidental to the design model so interface design okay should relate to design model third users mental model so in this case what the users mental makeup regarding user interface is considered point number 1 it is a perception of the system by user it is the image of the system that end users carry in their head 
पॉइंट नंबर टू फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ द यूजर ऑफ ए पर्टिक्युलर पेज लेआउट सिस्टम वेर आज टू डिस्क्राइब इट्स ऑपरेशन द सिस्टम परसेप्शन वुड गाइड द रिस्पॉन्स पॉइंट नंबर थ्री द एक्यूरेसी ऑफ डिस्क्रिप्शन डिपेंड्स अपॉन द यूजर्स प्रोफाइल एंड ओवरऑल फैमिलरिटी विद द सॉफ्टवेयर अप्लीकेशन पॉइंट नंबर फोर ए इम्प्लीमेंटेशन मॉडल पॉइंट नंबर वन द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन मॉडल कंबाइंस आउटवर्ड मैनिफेस्टेशन ऑफ कंप्यूटर बेस्ड सिस्टम द लुक एंड द फील ऑफ द इंटरफेस कपल्ड विथ ऑल सपोर्टिंग इंफॉर्मेशन सच एज बुक्स मैन्युअल्स वीडियो टेप्स हेल्प लाइल्स दैट डिस्क्राइब इंटरफेस सिंटैक्स एंड सीमेंटिक्स पॉइंट नंबर टू वेन द इम्प्लीमेंटेशन मॉडल एंड द यूजर्स मेंटल मॉडल को इंसिडेंट द यूजर्स जनरली फील कम्फर्टेबल विद द सॉफ्टवेयर एंड इज यूज यूज इट इफेक्टिवली स्टूडेंट्स वेन इम्प्लीमेंटेशन मॉडल एंड द मेंटल मॉडल ऑफ यूजर्स को इंसिडेंट द यूजर विल बी हैप्पी एंड ही विल वर्क विद द सिस्टम पॉइंट नंबर थ्री टू अकॉम्प्लिश दिस मेल्टिंग ऑफ मॉडल्स द डिजाइन मॉडल मस्ट हैव बीन डेवलप टू अकोमडेट इंफॉर्मेशन कंटेंट इन द यूजर्स मॉडल इंटरफेस एनालिसिस एंड डिजाइन मॉडल इन ए सेंस दीज फोर मॉडल्स एनेबल इंटरफेस डिजाइनर टू सटिस्फाई ए की एलिमेंट ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट प्रिंसिपल ऑफ यूजर इंटरफेस डिजाइन इज नो द यूजर नो द टास्क स्टूडेंट्स दिस प्रिंसिपल इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट नो द यूजर एंड नो द टास्क सो टास्क शुड ऑल्सो बी डन ऑल्सो द यूजर शुड बी कम्फर्टेबल नेक्स्ट विल गो टू another sub topic that is the process point number 1 the analysis and design process for user interfaces is iterative and can be represented using a spiral model so using spiral model we can demonstrate analysis and design process for the interface point number 2 the user interface analysis and design process begins at the interior of the spiral and encompasses four distinct framework activities students who have studied spiral model okay and same concept is adopted here also the four point number 3 the four distinct activities are one interface analysis and modeling second interface design third interface construction and fourth interface validation so these are four important activities we will see the spiral model in the next slide this slide shows you the spiral model the process begins with the there are four quadrants okay top right is the beginning quadrant standing for interface analysis and modeling okay bottom right represents interface design okay bottom left represent interface construction and top left represents interface validation the so first stage is interface analysis and modeling second stage is interface design third phase is interface construction and fourth phase is interface validation first the user interface design process point number 1 the spiral model shown in figure okay 12.1 implies that each of these task will occur more than once each pass around the spiral representing additional elaboration of the requirements and the resultant design point number 3 in most cases the construction activity involves prototyping the only practical way to validate what has been designed students the most practical way 
to know what is designed is develop a prototype second phase we'll study the phase here first is interface analysis and modeling this is the first phase in the spiral model point number 1 interface analysis focuses on the profile of the user who will interact with the system point number 2 skill level business understanding and general receptiveness to the new system are recorded and different user categories are defined point number 3 for each user category requirements are elicited for each type of user the requirements are noted fourth in essence you work with understand the system perception for each class of the user so in essentially different class of users the perception is different second phase is interface design point number 1 the goal of interface design is to define a set of interface objects and actions and their screen representations that enable a user to perform all defined task in a manner that meets every usability goal defined for the system students interface design is very important activity as you can note from the diagram point number 2 interface design is discussed in more detail in the topic interface design steps that will follow in this chapter interface construction normally begins with the creation of the prototype now next phase is interface construction the interface construction normally begins with the creation of the prototype that enables usage scenario to be evaluated point number 2 as the iterative design process continues the user interface toolkit considered in the section 12.4 it is the next section we will study may be used to complete the construction of the interface the last phase in this spiral model is interface validation point number 1 interface validation focuses on three topics one is the ability of the interface to implement every user task correctly to accommodate all task variations and to achieve all general users requirement point number 3 the degree to which the interface is easy to use and easy to learn and the third is the users acceptance of the interface as useful tool in their work so interface validation focuses on these three aspects point number 2 as i have already noted as you have been told the activities described in these sections occur iteratively in spiral model you know every activity or every process okay there is iterations students today we have studied interface analysis and design okay so i will be sending pdf of this please study if you got any doubts you can give me a call thank you